What is up guys? My name is Mason. Welcome you back to the game pit, the pit the games are played in. And this, my fellow friends, is Let's Play Fable of 2 for episode 55, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I could be wrong. By all means, I could be wrong. But today, guys, today, in the pit the games are played in, we are going to be completing the final, hopefully anyway, of the side quests because I know we've been achieving some progress in that um okay um I really don't know what it is with the aggressive music clearly we're gonna have to be slaying some people soon enough but uh my dig spot but before I got cut off because I didn't actually realize the destination was so close Jesus we are completing the final of the side uh quests and I know we've been progressing in that area as of late I know we've completed uh we completed what is it the farmer isn't a farmer and his son which included Giles and his and his son that came out it was pretty damn sweet it was a heartwarming quest nonetheless to say the least cross wheat will potion i'll take it i'll take it i'll fucking shake it uh but yeah we can we we've, we've been progressing uh but we actually are in fact on the final of the uh said side quest so let me just go ahead and oh my god look at the all right so we're in the homans guild right now holy shit then it was convenient that i did the farmer's son and then this one because holy shit let me just tell you that how convenient that is. Um, okay, so all of these quests that you see but underneath the archaeologist are all useless to me. Like, let me just let me just go ahead and explain why. Alright, the archaeologist is kind of like the gargoyles. It's it may have a final reward, but it literally is just a uh, collect and deposit and just back and forth repetition kind of quest. If you know what I mean, just like the gargoyles, you just like, keep finding them and then go back. Because like I said, it's completed task, destroy at least ten gargoyles. I'm assuming if I go back now to said quest giver then uh he will give me some sort of a gift of some kind or reward to motivate me to keep on moving through with this quest it's the same as um the archaeologist i'm guessing you just have to find books go back to old fossils or whatever or just rare unknown oddities of sorts and just take them back to him and see what you get see look it's just the same as the sculptor i mean you just find her you just you fucking get statues different poses different areas and just you're renowned ever so slightly increases. I don't see the point in these quests. I mean, I do, but not in the time-consuming element. I mean, that shit takes forever. So all these quests pretty much follow that GS. The Crucible Champion has no final reward. It's just encourage you to replay the Crucible over and over to see if you can get some perfect galore. But you know, you know, the Rock Troll is just the, the god of death, so that's never going to happen for me. Uh, Gargoyles, like I said, not going to waste my time on that shit. Westcliff shooting range, my previous attempt was absolute trash, and I suck at shooting, but hey, we could always go back to that. We shall see. Not making any promises, and yeah, I've already explained the sculptor. Uh, don't eat to the light. We have already achieved. We got the five-star weapon, the Rising Sun. It's pretty good, but also pretty poop. So you know what? We're just gonna leave that as is. So with that explanation, you can finally realize, and I can finally conclude that all six of these quests are utterly pointless as of now. So what we've got to do is the final side quest, the hit which we acquired very so recently. Um, and yeah, we've, we've just entered the set destination for this. We're in the High Women's Guild, um, just to the left of where we finished the last episode. And then after that, we will go ahead and resume the primary quest, the Colors Gate. But right now, we're in the High Women's Guild, and I'm super, super eager to see what's going on in this place. And it looks beautiful, especially on my brand new television. Like brand new television, because I now uh, have. I still have a 32 inch, but this, unlike the previous one, hasn't got a huge body making it look like a standard definition television, if you know what I mean. It actually looks like a legit HD TV. And it's no longer just 720. Oh no, it is 1080! Not right now anyway, because I'm recording uh, Fable and all the games that I, I'm let's play currently, just through with the same um, quality settings, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm going to keep 720 for all my let's plays and whatnot, but. Once they're concluding that I can start playing around with some settings and whatnot, then yeah, you guys might be seeing some 1080p 60 FPS action in the future. But you know what? I'm not making any promises because like I said, I don't know how it's going to go. But we shall see. We shall see nonetheless. But even though it's only standard 720, um, I'm only changed the picture settings to uh, game mode. So it looks slightly different for me, but just this slight difference is making way more of a difference than it should to my own eyes, if you know what I mean. Like, it just looks beautiful. Hello, 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 how are you doing today, my friend? Get slain. Are you assassins? Because you guys are good at combat, let me just say. Let me just say, let me just say. Hey, okay, come on with the, come on with the slices. Come on with the slashes of death. But get burned in the grit. Who the hell now? 
Who the hell? I just took out everyone out. What's going on? I can't. Hello. Hello, you. Ah. Getting shot in the chat. Ah. Getting stuck on the stairs. Getting stuck on the stairs. Getting hit by down the stairs. Okay. I'll just shoot you to the grave then if you're just going to glitch out into the floor, bitch. You see how much blood just came out of his chest? It was crazy. I can't do anything when you're like this, but I just get shot into the grave. Alright, how you doing? Well, there are quite a few of you up here. I see! Let me go ahead and just time control. And see how you do with the flower keys. Into the next dimension with you. Shot. Fucking slice to. And it's not just those people in the area. Like, if I've caught a, a couple of them, I guess. Like, everyone is just caught in time control. It seems to be that way, because... Either... Either that's how it is, or those two behind that weren't affected, if that was the case. Uh, just really suck at shooting, let me just say that much. Because <laughs> I didn't get shot for shit. And let me just use the jab potion, because I didn't actually get shot a little bit, so I want a little bit of hell for you, Jen. Is there anything up here, or just come up for no reason? No chest, no nothing, no, no loot. Are you kidding me? What's the point of this tower? Don't tell me there's like a gargoyle up here that I'm gonna miss eventually. <laughs> like in the end from just going down ignoring it. I don't know, let's let's just hope for the best and say there's nothing up it. Either there's an inconspicuous staircase somewhere over here that I just completely fucking missed out on. Or you genuinely do have to just walk around this entire structure just gets this lone chest all the way here in the corner of darkness. But uh, we found it, so we're just gonna open it up and see what is inside. Please be something good, not a Java potion. Oh, cure all health potion. That might come in handy, considering I'm up against a shitload of assassins. Okay, Bax, you're injured? Why don't you let me know? Come here, I can see the... Bax, come here. I can see the, the high women. I just want to heal you. Bax, are you kidding me? Yes, come here. Be healed. I need my five-star fighter. Are you good, boy? You good? There we go. Here we are. Baxter is back in his prime form. Now let's go. Is this Darius Zing? This is Darius Zing. He's running. What the fuck? What are you doing? Come back. <laughs> We're in the middle of a throwdown. He's just like, you killed most of my men. I'm going to run. Oh shit. Hello. That's why. Obviously you have reinforcements, you bitch. No one cares about Lord Lucian. Dude's gonna be dead. Dude's gonna get beheaded. Where's the dig spot, boy? Is now really the best time. What? Oh, okay, this is just Baxter's passage. I was gonna say, what the fuck? All right, it best be worth my time, Bax. Let me just say that like, you can roll over. Is that how confident you are? Let's see. Okay, turn on over. You know what, Bax? You're getting put in the grave for that because you're just wasting my time with that bullshit. I don't want to get married anymore. Where the fuck did Darius go? Did he go this way? Probably not. Probably not. Wait, no, did he? This is new. He did go this way. How do you, friend? Get shot a million times. Okay, it's time for magic. It's time for magic because you get. Oh my god, look at how fast they take out my out! I couldn't even charge up a five star spell. They literally slaughtered my health bar within that amount of time. So, you know what? We're gonna have to use, like, fucking not magic, clearly. And if I want to pull off that spell, then I'm gonna have to use magic, um, time control. And then fucking use it. But you know, it's not even worth it then, because then I can just slice you all into the grave. There we go. Nope, apparently not. Get the fuck down, boy! What the? How is he still at? Oh, this is. Is this. That's Darius, isn't it? Yep, he's gone. In the grave with you, bastard. If Lucian thought hiring the renowned assassins of the Highwoman's Guild would be enough to get rid of you, he was sorely mistaken. Could have been a bit more creative than he was wrong, you know what I'm saying, Lucian? Lucian's contract? Hello? So he put the hell on me. That's a serious bounty. Jesus Christ. Look at all the experience, just- there we go. 7,500 renown. I'll take it. So wait, did all the other assassins just despawn as soon as I killed him? Because that seemed to be what just happened. Like, his is the only corpse I can see. Baxter, can you sit still, boy? I'm trying to heal you. I don't want to get... There we go. 
Get me a boy. Let me give you that bandage hype. Give you that bandage, bandage hype. Give you that bandage hype. I'm liking the halo. I seriously am. I'm liking the halo, halo, halo. Come on, Baxter. Let's go. It's time to move it on up. Wait, there's a dick spot. Dick spot, dick spot. Treasure. Treasure. Where is it? What is it? Tell me. Where is it? I don't see it, Baxter. I mean, it's incredibly bright outside, and I have no- you know, my curtains are wide open, and I just can't see shit right now on my screen, but... Be a bit more... You know... What? Baxter, are you kidding me? You can't just bark in the middle of the water and say treasure. That... Baxter. What are you- Is it here? No. So where is it, Baxter? Lead me. Are you kidding me? What? Did I miss something then up here? Because that seems to be the only explanation for Baxter just kind of being like, oh, oh, there's definitely treasure here when there's nothing in sight. Please give me something now. I need the treasure chest. There was nothing. Like, what is the point of this structure? Nothing but a waste of my time. This is a chest behind. Oh, there it is. I'm not sure this is the one he was barking for, because, like, we were quite a distance from where this chest is. You know what? I'm not going to... 500 gold? Are you serious, Baxter? See, I just lost that. I just instantly lost that. <laughs> as soon as I got it, it's gone. All right, are we done here now, then? We're done with the quest. That's kind of astonishing. Like, that was way more brief than I initially thought it was going to be. Like... Look at how cool this area looks. I thought it was going to be a lot more to- Dig spot? That's what we already- Baxter, you're, you're on one today. I didn't mean to- I don't even know what I just did. I just pointed at him. Just like, you! Come on, dig then. Dig boy. Let's use the jab person. Because I could do that experience. But not really. I was actually hoping for some HP, but you know what? It didn't come through. It didn't come through. Divine carrot? Ooh. Eh. Alright, so now we are done. We are done with the side quests. We've got the utmost of known. We haven't really got all that much cash because I spent it all. <laughs> it wasn't like I wasted it. I mean, it spent on good shit. Max, what are you doing? You hunched over like that. Have this treat. Wait, did I just heal him again? No, I just gave him a treat. Good shit. Alright, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna call it an ep here. And next time, we will assume with the plot. That's so, right, story will commence, story will continue, and we'll hopefully, I think it's, wait, the Colors Gate? We're returning to the guild, so I guess we're having a miniature reunion with Teresa, Hammer, and Garth? We will have to find out. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fable 2. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to do what you do. Show the love slash support by hitting the like button down below. Subscribe more in the contest such as series by the answer the QOTD question of the day. Oh, by following me on Twitter for various updates and whatnot. But without dragging us any further, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!